Welcome to Visuals Kingdom, my name is Nick Metzger and in this video I'm going to show you how you can replace an eye as seen in the intro. This technique is actually very easy and it can be used to achieve various effects. For example, you could change the colors often of an eye or you could replace the whole eye or put in a fake reflection or whatever you like. The only thing you're going to need for this effect is a shot of an eye and After Effects, maybe Premiere as well. So if you're in Premiere and you have your shot of the eye that you want to replace, mine is opening right here, and then I want to change the color, for example. So by pressing Alt and dragging on the clip, I'm going to duplicate it. Then I right click it, the, the top one, and replace it with an After Effects composition. Okay, then set up a new project wherever you, wherever you want it. So I'm gonna call my eye replacement tut. And then I will have a new composition with my clip. So let's say you wanna change the color of the eye. I'm gonna duplicate my clip by pressing Command D on a Mac or Control D on Windows. And then go up here and select the pen tool. Now it's important that you select the Roto Bezier um, checkbox to make sure that the mask you're gonna create is uh, round. So now I'm very simply masking out the eye. You don't have to be like too exact on this since you're gonna feather the mask anyway later. And now you can go into the Effects and Presets tab and, for example, apply Lumetri. What you can do in Lumetri is maybe adjust the contrast of the eye, adjust the exposure, um, maybe also the saturation, go into the curves, apply some blue to the shadows, for example. So now, you can see that when you zoom in, there is a pretty hard line between our effect and uh, the rest of the shot. And that looks not so great. So you wanna select the clip you applied the mask to and press F. That will open up the feather settings where you can simply play around until it fits to your liking. And then if, you've, if you think that the effect is going too far to the sides, simply click on this arrow, arrow here um, two times and then play around with the mask expansion. If you pull the mask expansion to the right, the effect will go, will expand. And if you pull it to the left, it will shrink. So I think maybe minus, minus five will be great for my shot. Maybe even minus 10. Okay, let's say minus 7.5. All right, that looks great. So that will be it for maybe enhancing the effect of an eye, changing the colors, changing the contrast and whatever. Now you can simply go in back into Premiere and you will see the changes immediately. All right, so that looks pretty good now. Now we got a problem though. In the shot, the subject as well as the camera are moving. So when I scroll through the shot, you can see that the mask doesn't stay where it should stay, right on the eye. So to make that mask stick to the eye, you need to track it. And we made a separate tutorial about that, uh, which you can watch up here. Now, another problem we have is that the pupil is looking pretty blue at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is select the top layer, go into the mask tool again, Make sure that Roto Bezier is enabled and mask out the pupil. Like that. So now if you go to your mask 2, you can see right next to it, there will be the drop down menu and it will say add. So if you put that into subtract, you can see that now the pupil is pure black again. To prevent it, from, to prevent the edges from being so harsh, simply click on your mask, press F, and play around with the feather settings again. 
And I'm gonna put that into add again just to see the difference. And that looks pretty good to me. So we are good to go. So the second thing you could do, instead of just changing the color of the eye, you could insert or replace the reflection. So to do so, I'm gonna use a video of ours. This cool tunnel zoom effect. And if I want to insert it, I press S and then scale it down. Maybe I'm gonna use a, a press T to change the opacity to around 60% or maybe, maybe even 40. And then go back to scale and then position it so that it covers the whole eye. I'm gonna put uh, the opacity back up to 100%. And, uh, or actually no, let's leave, it on, let's leave it on 40%. And then I'm gonna use the masking tool again. Make sure that the roto bezier is enabled. And okay, I'm gonna drop down the opacity to 20%. And then mask out around the eye as before. But make sure that your top layer is selected. Like so. Now, same as before, I'm gonna uh, make, create another mask, which will mask out the pupil. And then go into the mask settings and put that to subtract, like so. Now, if I go back into the first mask, I'm gonna hit F to feather it. And I'm gonna do the same for the second mask. Like so. <clears throat> so now you can see that the, the video is in the eye. If you press T now and drag the opacity back up, I mean, you could drag it up as much as you like. Maybe you want to have the whole video inside the eye, which looks pretty funny, I think. Or you can just use maybe 34%, whatever. Whatever your taste is and whatever you, you use it for. And same problem as before. If you, want to, if you want the mask to stick to the eye, you need to watch our tutorial about mask tracking. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. You learned how you can insert uh, another shot into an eye or simply change the colors of it. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I think you learned something when you're still here. Um, if you did, hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel to help us help more people and stay tuned for our next videos. Also, thank you to David Dos Rice. He's linked in the description below for his eye. See you next week.